My friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to the one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you. Do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son to rise on the good and the bad, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to invite our boys and girls to come forward for a homily geared toward them. So kids, come on up. Since this is the third Sunday of the month, 10 o'clock, we usually have children's mass. So kids, come on down. Have a seat right in front of me, please. Right here, please. Thank you. Okay, good morning. Good to see you here. Your bright, sunshiny faces warm my heart. Hey, you know, a few days ago, we had a special day when we think of people that we love, and we usually like to show those people we love with some special gifts and stuff. Does anybody know what day that was that we celebrated? Especially with hearts. Valentine's Day. Very good. Did any of you get a Valentine on Valentine's Day? Raise your hand if you got a Valentine. Good. Wonderful. And what kinds of things do people usually give as gifts on Valentine's Day? Obviously, they give Valentine's cards. What other things do they give as gifts on Valentine's Day? Um, a box of chocolate. A box of chocolate. That's always a plus. Anybody get a box of chocolate for Valentine's Day? A few people? Good. What else do they give on Valentine's Day? Toys? Okay. Wonderful. Did you get any toys for Valentine's Day? Wonderful. Good. What other things do they like to give on Valentine's Day? Especially a husband to their wife. Yes. Flowers. Very good. Does anybody get flowers out there for Valentine's Day? Good people. Good. Wonderful. Well, I want to show you a nice valentine that an elderly couple down in Horsehead, who belonged to this parish, sent me. A nice little valentine card with a big heart on it here. Show and tell, show and tell. <laughs> I was very touched that they were thinking of me in a special way that day. So it always warms our hearts when somebody offers something like that to remind us how much that we mean to them. Okay? So who are some people that you love? Can you give me some ideas? Who do you love? Raise your hand if you can tell me one. Who do you love? Mom. Mom. Okay. Good. Who else do you love? Dad. Dad. Well, I'm glad we balanced the set there. That's always good. <laughs> equal time for equal parents. Who else do you love? Who are some other people you love in your life? Who else? Your whole family. Okay. Especially your brother. Do you love your brother? I hope so. I hope he's listening. That's a good thing. Wonderful. Who else do you love? 
You love the Holy Spirit. Wow, a profound answer. Very good. I love it. That's good. Who else do you love? Do you love your grandparents? Raise your hand if you love your grandparents. Wonderful. All right, now raise your hand if you love your brothers and sisters. You're not raising your hand? <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't feel too bad you didn't raise your hand, so. So, how about your best friends? How many of you have a best friend? Raise your hand, okay, good. How about a favorite teacher in school? Yeah, do you love your teacher? Good, and your teacher loves you, I'm sure. You know, and it's, and why, why would you say you love them? What did they do for you that you say, I love these people? What are some reasons that you love these people? Can you tell me? Why do you love the people you talk about? They do good things for you, don't they? Yeah, that's a good thing. What's another reason that you love them? You wish you had a stuffed animal to love you? <laughs> well, mom, dad will have to arrange that. Uh, they don't, she doesn't already have one, so that's a good thing. Well, thank you. Yes, it's nice to kind of have something to cuddle close to you and everything like that. Right, so we usually love people because they make us feel good. They do good things for us. They show love and care for us. They're kind to us. All those wonderful things. All right, now, how many of you, we're going to go to the other side of the spectrum here, how many of you have ever had an argument or a fight with somebody before? Raise your hand. Maybe your brother, sister, or somebody at school. Okay. How did you feel when you got into a fight and an argument? Really bad. Really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Did anybody feel good when you fought? Raise your hand if you felt really good. You did? Okay. We'll have to work on that a little bit here. Thank you very much. So, usually when we fight, we don't feel too good, do we? No. It makes us mad, it makes the other person mad, everybody feels miserable in the process. Now, what does Jesus say about loving people who don't like you or hate you? Should we hate them back? No. No, that's not right. Why? Why should we love them? They don't treat us good. Why not hate them right back? Maybe you'll make us feel good. Why should we do what Jesus says and love those who hate us? What do you think about that? That's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah. Why do you think? Why should we love people who hate us? Can you tell me? You don't know. Okay. Well, let me give you a couple ideas. Does God love every single person in the world? Right. Does God always like the things we do? No. Sometimes we do some pretty bad things, right? But God still loves us, right? There's a difference. So, when we love other people who may not like us, or even hate us, we're kind of a sign of how God loves everybody, and that's how we're to behave too, right? And so we're going to be, hopefully, setting good examples of showing how important it is to love people who may be nasty to us, say nasty things to us, get into arguments with us, push us around, maybe even hit us. And we're showing them how to be Jesus. By loving them back, even when they do all those things. Okay? So those are very important things. And who knows, if you're kind to those people, you may even turn that enemy into a friend. Yeah, people have done that before, where people who once hated you suddenly like you, and they get along fabulously. I've had a couple of people who didn't like me to begin with when I was growing up, and now they're friends. So Jesus says, love your enemies because you never know how that can change a person for the better. Okay? So Jesus is saying, do the right thing. Show my love. And if you're struggling with loving somebody who's been mean to you, what should you do? You pray to God and you ask them to help you to be more loving and forgiving for them. Right? And God always said, in some way, somehow, sometime, he's going to help us. So do the right thing, and you can become a stronger Christian and a better person, and you'll feel much better in here in the process. Okay? So I am going to ask you to stand up at this time, and thank you so much for listening. I have a little special children's worship bulletin for you with some word puzzles and a coloring page in here. So if you could help me pass these out, take one as soon as you get one.
then you can return to your fuse nice and quietly, okay? You. And I'll take the extras. Thank you very much. Sweetheart, did you get one? Here you go. She's handing you one right there. There you go. Thank you very much.